Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I would like to do a journey into my latest painting. Hope you can see this well. Um, I haven't given her a name yet, but She's definitely earthy and very, um, yeah, just earth-like energies. And uh, I did this painting using um, some of my yoni blood. So it, there's a lot of grounding energies in her and, you know, very... Um, earth element and mother earth all, everything that has to do with like mother and feminine energy um and also the sacred waters of you know what um yoni blood is it's one of the most powerful and just life-giving substance in the world so it's very um, powerful and empowering. And um, yeah, so that this is the first uh, painting that I did with my Yoni blood and acrylics. It was, it was fun to make. Um, I'm not really disgusted by it or, I mean, I, I would be a little bit more, you know, repulsed if it was in my blood, but because it's mine, I feel more comfortable with it. And I'm going to do a journey into the painting. Just going to absorb, let you guys absorb the energy of the painting as well. I already am feeling that it's going to be very grounding and I feel creation, destruction um, type energies. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm new to journeying and um, all, all things psychic reading. So it's exciting because it's new and you never know what you're gonna get and most of the time I feel when you're doing this kind of um, work or this kind of um, thing that <laughs> it's never what you expect but it's always it always gives you something no matter what you know a lot of the times I go into journey and I get frustrated because I can't experience what I feel I should be experiencing and then when I'm back from the journey, I'm like, whoa, I've learned so much f from this experience. And it's like, I can't really describe the experience fully until I've passed the experience. Because, you know, sometimes we want to experience visual effects. We want to experience more direct, like watching a movie type of experience in the journey but and everyone's different so some people will experience that like uh, movie type um journey some people will will have flashes of information um i am and the more that you do the the journeying the more that you just do it you, know, you sometimes i'm like what am i even doing i don't even know what i'm doing but i just um create the intention of doing it and then embarking on the journey, no matter how it may look like. And a lot of the times it's just allowing myself to have a few uh, quiet moments, have a, a 15 minutes, have 30 minutes where you're just um, with yourself in silence on um, undisturbed with the intention in your mind. And then 
sometimes there's a lot of like internal talk. Um, sometimes I feel myself creating the images, but m my creation of them comes from somewhere. So I kind of follow that in a way at the same time. It's, it's like, am, am I creating the image or is my higher self creating the image? Are we working together on this? And then I also explore the image, like, what does this mean? And I kind of like, it doesn't mean anything. A doubts come in and then I, I move on to the next thing and the next thing. And then by the end of the, the session, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever, um, I piece the pieces together and I'm like, wow, I actually went into a journey, you know, but it, it's just when you're starting off, it doesn't seem like it, but I'm learning a lot as I go, as I'm doing this and <laughs> it's really weird. It's always weird when you're starting because it, there's a lot of like, what am I doing? Like, what is happening? What am I doing? I'm not even doing anything. Is this, and sometimes it feels like, I'm putting on a show. There's so many weird things like and and you and it's like you have to there's a lot of like um going through doorways of yourself, going through doorways of um criticism, going through doorways of shattering beliefs, go, going through doorways of um emotions you haven't tended to for a while and then you kind of have to purge before you get to the next doorway and the next doorway and i feel that this journey of me discovering my style or just um setting an intention of doing this like i said i'm not really sure what it is because there's so many um there's there's so many uh, how can I say aspects? There's so many ways of seeing this. Uh, am I doing journey work? Am I doing psychic reading? Am I doing channeling? Am I doing uh, some transference healing? Am I doing just um, what am I doing? You know, and I don't know really what it is. I can't define it in a way that is like. I'll just call it journeying because it do, it does feel like you're you're starting somewhere and then you're somewhere else and then you're coming back. So it does feel like a journey. Um, it's also like meditative trance, and it's also storytelling. It's also um, reaching the my akashic records to accessing stories. Um, I'm also tuning into higher consciousnesses that um have things to say and I'm, then i'm channeling and then i you know I, I got these feelings where i feel like i need to do energy healing energy work it's all over the place and because of all of the information out there and all the styles and all the different ways that people are exploring um this whatever this is um there's a lot of mixture of styles and and it's really the only way you can access your style is by just trying new things trying new things and then eventually you you kind of like get to know yourself within this this um vehicle within this way of whatever it is that it is and um eventually it starts placing itself or I'm hoping it will. Um, I don't really care in a way because I just want to experience the moment and have fun and really feel it, like this kind of stuff excites me and it, it makes me feel like a little child that's going to like explore something new and, and that's um, like I really like that and so that's really what I am inspired um, the intention behind what it is I'm doing that it, that's where the inspiration comes from from just the simple um indulging in in the magic that we are because we're so powerful you know our thoughts our feelings our emotions our memories are you know and then there's past lives and then there's like um cosmic intelligence there's and there's, there's so much and and the the imagination is so rich and it's it comes from ancient times like 
it's uh, i don't believe that imagination is not real uh, like what is real you know if it's happening in your mind if everything that is happening it's is happening in your mind then everything is real and everything is not real and and it, it all intermingles and i feel that intuition and imagination are very um intertwined and 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 there's no such thing as um like a imagination is not what we think it's not like a false it's it's our mind creating and when our mind creates it creates our world we we are creators of our own of our lives and so our minds are constantly creating our world so when we are um going into our imagination we're going into um into our minds into this amazing like place where everything is possible and everything is can be like i can do anything in my mind like i can i can be anything in my mind it's amazing like the freedom that you can experience inside your mind and then connecting your heart to it and connecting your reality to it and that's how you actualize things and manifest things so you know we're so powerful and i'm just so like excited to explore more of myself um in in all the ways that i can and um although i don't really nothing is really defined and that's perfect um i i'm going to to define myself as i explore myself and experience myself and that is the same thing that i'm doing with um art so i've been doing art for a long time i've been i consider myself an artist um you know I didn't go to art school or anything but I just it's in me it's in my blood it's it's in my bones it's it is me and I cannot run away from it there's nothing else that seems to be um that to make more sense to me to to share like myself and to feel a sense of belonging art is really important for me to feel that sense of belonging in the world because i feel like i get to it's to see myself and then letting other people see myself through my through art it's and it's also because us as human beings and i feel that this is connected to my painting what i'm about to say us as human beings we're very um detached and there's this there's this feeling of detachment that is so strong the like like i feel like i belong to a certain group but we don't see each other we we're it's like we're meant to live this separate world in separate worlds and kind of trust in each other and telepathically communicate with each other within ourselves reaching within ourselves and the connection that we have through the web um the web not the internet but like the cosmic web like what connects us all and it gets very lonely like i've been thinking a lot about the times of celts and druid times and how they were so connected and everybody had their specific um role that they were playing but they really felt like whatever they were doing was con was connected to the to the community was for the community they were nurturing the community through whatever their their art was healing farming um medicine uh the storytellers um you know all they all had a role and they all but they all knew they all had a very very strong connection to the purpose of why they were doing this was to was to um strengthen the community and they were so connected and so every time that they would they would feel themselves into what they were doing seeing how it would strengthen the community and that strength comes back to them to inspire them to create even more in this this beautiful like beautiful way of living that i miss so much and that i feel a strong connection to and that i don't have 
that a lot of us, um, we don't have anymore on earth. We don't have that anymore. We can feel it inside and deep inside we all want to help each other. But there's a very strong like amnesia or just it's like we know it internally but on the outside on the skin to skin on the like um first world like that you are seeing that we where, where we see each other the first world then there's second world then the third world and then there's like the 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 deeper worlds we are very connected but the the like the first world we're very not there and it's kind of like a lot of us are living life like like we're in a a um glass cube and we're trying to talk to people but like we're like sign language and they don't understand what we're saying and we feel very alone but there's like a bunch of people around us but we're all like inside of our cubicle glass walls that's how i'm i feel a lot of how the world is and even the people that i live with in my life um that i know like i know i'm connected to my family i know i'm connected to the people that i'm with um but we don't talk about that to each other we just know it but there's like a missing piece like i have this one friend that bless her um we have this connection this outside connection like i could be talking about this kind of stuff and like she's all in it she's immersed we're immersed together and then we work we work separately on our things and then we come back to each other and we're like okay i'm evolving in this way and like we're, we're you know it's it's like you feel that connection in in the earth plane and it's, it's not just like oh yeah we're connected in the spiritual world like this this earth plane connection i feel i i miss that in my life a lot and i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of people do as well <laughs> There's this like just strong disconnection and and it's I feel it's okay that um, we all have different groups. You know, my neighbors maybe um, we're not from the same group and that's okay. Like we can work in different groups and then the groups become like a collective and the collective work together as like group collective and that will be beautiful. And but um, we, we don't we're, we're very living with like our little families in our little world you know and <coughs> all families for themselves and i'm sure it's not like that everywhere and i just this is something that i feel in my heart right now i'm going to pause for a second My camera is not properly identifying me. Okay. Just give me one moment. I'm just going to collect myself, um, collect all of this uh, information and go into the journey state now. And I'm trusting myself, affirming this trust that um, I believe in myself. <laughs> and I believe in, in what I'm here to do before I even know what it is, which is really hard to do. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, I don't know if I'm ready enough. Am I good enough? Am I ready enough? Am I qualified? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't care. Um, because you can't let those things stop you from life. From, from doing what you do. What am I even saying right now? Mm. 
this is pure air purer purer it's a very very old age tea um i don't know how many years this was aged but it's a it's a green tea that's been aged and i think it's fermented um but it's very precious um to um the tea people and it <laughs> it tastes like earth it tastes like soil and it's so good so nourishing wow so on that note let's go take a look at earth i don't know if i'm gonna call this painting earth we'll see we'll see what kind of name wants to come up i also did this one it's very beautiful but that one's for another day actually i'm gonna put this one here so that we can hone into the journey together okay um okay i have 10 minutes it's gonna be a 10 minute journey or longer i'll do a two part if it's longer <laughs> So I'm making the conscious commitment intention to connect to this beautiful painting and to earth. So I'm being guided now to start with some light language. Quatrasiasi kokoti kosi si shu shua kene kiti kwa kete kete kuto kusu kuto 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 kusu kote kete kuto kote kere koro kuto kusu kusha kete kete kuto kote si kasi 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 shua si si to kote kote si kwa si si shu kusu kwa. Hayas ik ik yas is you shoe one colour this is you do quad this you show kodeki de kodos you take de cados was. A colour can yas 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 ya moss the show so quate e is yas 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 you. Can a cat or sick the cote a cake sick cocoa shish yas ya kadeke de kodok kodok this is you kodok si kush kos kona kakas you show she sick a kasus ya kasus kokote kas is is kakasus is you kadeke is 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 Not to do on it, it yas. Not to do on it, it yas. Not to see a sneaky, Niki ya ni ya 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 yo yo so si ya ya me a ti a ti si ya yo o o o si i i. So I'm 
I have an image of an ancient sort of tribal woman. And I see her. Just one moment. So she's, um, okay. I feel like I'm having a conversation with her. And we're talking about the earth. We're talking about humanity at this time and what we, we, we are connected to at this time. Our, our connection um, to the earth is very intimate. Um, we're, we're starting to realize our um, um, insecurities um, uh, in regards to the earth. So lots of insecurities about, um, our, our, our survival and our, um, instinctual natures. Um, they're, they're, they're becoming, um, fueled. Um, they're becoming, um, triggered. Um, our trigger, our instinctual, um, nature is 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 triggered um within the earth at this time so um i'm not sure why this in, this this information is is coming through like this at this time but um i'm feeling um yeah this um i'm not sure what it means yet so i'm just going to um take a moment so i'm feeling a lot of um Like I might be downloading something, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to follow the um, the energy, and not like um, think about it too much. So I'm being um, moved upwards in this this way, and I feel like there is something that um, wants to come through my crown. So I'll see what that. Um, is all about in just one moment. So the woman is, she's kind of um, doing this towards me and it's a needle, it's a needle with a thread, this, okay, so I'm going to grab that, and I don't know what to do with it, and I ask her what I'm supposed to do with this, and she, she says, look at the hole, small, very small hole needle where there's a hole to put the thread it's a hole very small she says can you see through that can you see through what do you see i look i look it's very hard i say it's very hard to look through it's so small I can barely see anything. What am I meant to see? So I make myself really small, really small, small. And then I, I, I can go through the needle. Now I go through the needle. And I'm wondering why I, I am being taken um, through a journey like this. I'm, I'm wondering this to myself. 
and um and she said well you chose to to go on the journey isn't that your intention and i'm like oh yeah that was my intention okay let's do this let's keep going so i slide down i'm into i'm on the slide and i'm sliding i'm sliding and i'm it's like i'm being taken somewhere and i feel that my journeys they always have this um aspect to them of being taken somewhere um so that's how i feel that i can m more um easily travel to somewhere to feel that there's something happening to have myself experience um walking to somewhere going through something you know something that uh, that is like um that is going through time or through space like a, a movement forward to somewhere or within or whatever but i always i always do that in, uh, instinctually intuitively So I find myself in this world and it's earth world. It's earth world, but it's different earth world. It's, it's a different earth world. It's an energy of earth that I've kind of created within myself. And I sit down and there is this amazing tree in front of me. It's majestic. And, but it, it has a form of a woman that is sitting down cross-legged. And it's very earthy here. Like, um, it's not necessarily warm. There's, there's coldness. Um, there's very, um, there's coldness and there, and it feels very like, like what like um wild earth like um untamed um because earth is not necessarily all fuzzy energy you know there there are very slithery things on earth and there's a lot but it's all it's all one it's all in harmony with with itself so there's this respect and i sit here on the ground and the ground is cold, but that's just earth. The ground is cold <laughs> sometimes. Um, and that's the way it is. And so I'm sitting here and, I, and there's this majestic tree in the shape. The trunk is in the shape of this woman. And it's like, um, it's like I don't know earth. It's like I'm not from earth. Like I'm not human and i'm visiting earth and i'm looking at this mama earth figure and it's like i'm meeting her for the first time or something but it's very different the energy that i feel when i'm on when i'm myself or on earth as a human being i i think of mama earth as very um nurturing and and like sweet but this mama earth she's like her own thing and i feel that she is um powerful in an in intimidating way and uh, but she's peaceful she's cross-legged eyes closed and and i say something I ask her to tell me about her. So I'm really just meeting her for the first time. And I want to know about her. And she opens like her womb area. She opens her womb area and I really feel like the crackling and the rumble rumble of the earth and like this big whoa it's like there's a big thunder like as as the crack it cracks open and you can see inside it's all like 
dark but like warm and if the fire and the like lava and all this whoa <laughs> this, whoa like i feel the energy like being pulled down there like the intensity and the density and the hotness and just the strength is so much power it blows my i feel so small i feel like she could just bing and I would disappear. But uh, she doesn't do that. She's very graceful in her amaze, uh, immensement. And I say, do you know about Earth, people, the humans? And she kind of... She, she does something. She will speak now. Sikwa ne teke, teke o teke hi si ya. Si ya si to kukua ne ke si o shu si yak. Yas i si yakan ya si o shala rao si o si yan. There's something very um, protective about her um, relationship to um, this question or or about the humanity or it's even maybe about earth um in that time that i'm speaking of there's something very um, protective about it and she's very um she feels that this is um part of her and part of um, um s some of her accomplishments as 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 a being And I put my feet on the earth and I really put ground my feet really deep in the earth and I put and I, I make myself as roots and I want to really be a part of her and I want her to see that that I'm a part of her and so I do that and we connect and she's very um, she's a uh, She's touched by this and I say like I just express some some love right now to her Suhun uat is shasya sya ko no to sya kane heisi tukok okoko anei 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 she reassures me. Creation itself has its own complications but everything is entirely whole in itself no matter how you view it all the connections have been made all the connections have been made all the connections have been made. You come to me for guidance. You come to me for support, for reassurance. You come to yourself. So she's telling me about 
how um, I, I as a human body am an embodiment of earth and our connection, our soul connection to our human body is the stars connecting to the earth. This netting is all around the universe. All the stars and planets connect through us and us through them. And I say, Mama Earth, humans, so many souls, they worry for you. They worry about you. They worry about you. Kossa shasiana karnaka teke tokoa sakek kik kok kik ik 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 kwak ketiki tiki tiko siko koko teke ti tu kusi kik 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 I apologize. I just need a moment of silence with her in this in this moment. There is much that we are creating together. Innovations within the human mind, within the human collective. There is much that we are creating together. Earth is not condemned by human, humans, by the souls. There is much that we are creating together, much that the humans still don't see at this time. There's this, um, there's this talk about human emotion and the fear. and the fear that is within the animal kingdom, within the earth itself, fear is, is just a way to, a way for survival, a way for, for certain races to, um, to survive is what fear is. And When humans fear for Earth, they fear for themselves, for their own survival. Yeah, they fear for themselves, for their own survival. 